Meet Athena Calderon, author and the founder of the lifestyle site Icewoon. She takes us through her luminous Cobble Hill townhouse, where she reveals that the process most people dread, she loves. This is absolutely the eighth house in Brooklyn that I've renovated. And through each renovation that I've done, I've actually, it's been my design education. This particular townhouse, I was really wanting to kind of smash together the kind of classicism and like pay homage and respect to the historical Greek revival nature of the house. Initially, when we bought the house, I had this idea that I wanted this white marble Italianite fireplace. And only because of budget did I not actually change it. And thank goodness I didn't because I love the bold contrast of these white walls with the black marble and gold veining. It's just so much more interesting. And then, you know, I'm always teeter-tottering on a level of sophistication through modern furnishings, but I would say 95% of the decor and furnishings in this home is vintage. This is a 1970s Italian Mario Bellini sofa, and it was the first piece that I bought. And it's kind of round and bulbous and soft and sinuous. And the second piece that I got was the apparatus table because it's sharp and angular and you know a harder material because it is about this yin and yang and it's about the juxtaposition that when it all comes together, it, it's magic. The kitchen obviously with my culinary background it was a really big moment and I wanted to find somebody to design the kitchen cabinetry that you know would really work together with me in achieving the look that I wanted and I wanted it to be a foil to express myself in the same way I would in the living room. So there's a lot of decorative pieces that are mixed in with the more utilitarian functional pieces and I think that that's really important. I knew that it's a the heart of the home. It's where I gather with my husband and son and friends and family and holidays. Everyone always ends up in the kitchen. I had an amazing architect, Elizabeth Roberts. So we opened up the entire back of the townhouse and it was this quirky, awkward L shape. And by putting in these windows that are actually bifold doors, we can open up both of them and it becomes this extension of the kitchen. And it's this indoor, outdoor, almost more Californian way of living. And yeah, it's a pretty special feature in the house. On the second floor, I wanted to have mostly just the master. And I wanted to have a very kind of calming, serene, neutral experience. I really wanted the bedroom to be a sanctuary. The first thing when I was designing the layout of the master floor was I knew I wanted the grandeur of these double doors. It really led way to having this very symmetrical space. I wanted a freestanding bathtub. There's a fireplace in the master bathroom, which is, you know, I pinched myself every time I'm in that bath with the fire going. And then, you know, I did choose pink marble for my shower. I went to the stone yard and I was just smitten by the movement and this romantic idea of pink marble. On the third floor is our family room and it's really kind of a library and also a place where we can just lounge and be cozy as a family, watch movies, play records. But at first, that room followed suit for the rest of the house and it was white. But it was so boring. Like it just, it wasn't the cozy spot that I wanted to hang out with my family and we actually didn't use the room very much. And I made a bold choice and I clad the walls in this dark, rich navy plaster that goes up the walls and onto the ceiling, really enveloping the space. And it's such a departure from the rest of the house, but it just, it just worked. Athena Calderon has an extraordinary story and she discovered her talent and her love for both cooking, entertaining, and interior design as a very young mother at home with her newborn. She's a master chef, she's done a cookbook, now she's launching her book about beautiful homes and how to make them. So Athena is about sharing, not just about the pretty picture, but she will actually tell you the behind the scenes of how to create that beauty. 
And that's a rare gift too.